Okay guys, so pardon the camera settings that we have here. I'm just trying to fit everything in the frame even if um, the alignment is wrong so that you can see me while I'm repotting. But anyways, I have these plants right here that as I said before, some of my plants were not performing well. So I have my champagnes here and they're one of the uh, few very slow, slow growing succulents that I have here and they're starting to produce these slight differences on them so yeah so I wanted to show them to you so you can have an update on them and we also have uh, some sedums here that I this this used to be in a hanging pot but they weren't rooting very well so I transferred them in this one but now it's already getting longer it's already touching the the table if I lay it down so I'm gonna be transferring it into a hanging pot so we have that yeah I don't actually have anything in mind um, of what to talk about but I wanted to show you my process on how I repot this and now the neighbors are still playing their karaoke so we're just gonna have to push through okay so we have our first champagne here so the potting mix that I'll be using with them uh, is our alnus compost and carbonized rice cell mix you can see already has a lot of fruits so the potting mix that I used with these ones um, have cocoa pit in it so now I'm not actually very confident about that and I'm seeing more successes with this Alnus compost mix so I'm actually not gonna be using cocoa pit anytime soon on my succulents but cocoa pit I fi find is very good with cacti you can see them right there at the back my grafted cacti and my other cactus there so they're really nice now I just removed the dried leaves okay let me check the roots so that's the what's left of the roots I usually don't go this far but since there are, seems to be powdery stuff in it so I try to remove them but there doesn't seem to be any mealybugs in this one just some powdery stuff so it could be some form of um, fungi that helps with the roots okay so we're gonna be okay i think we're gonna be mounting in this one what you want to do when you're planting your succulents is you want to plant them higher than the pot so now i'm just gonna backfill this up so that it won't sink into the soil and if you plant your succulents higher actually it helps them stay dry because the water is gonna go down it's not gonna stay under uh, rosettes on their underside of their leaves so if the water stays on there it becomes um, prone to rot I don't, would not recommend you plant your succulents too deeply because if they're too deeply in their potting mix they will get rot <laughs> okay so let me just finish this up now I would not recommend that you rush repotting your succulents if they're newly planted and they're not performing very well I would not recommend that you um, repot them right away you probably leave it for about a month before you repot it so unless you've got grave issues like uh, rotting, if you've got tons of rotting on your plants, then you can probably repot them right away. But if the situation is not very dire, it's not very, it's not like an emergency thing, don't rush repotting them because they will still need to adjust first. And it's better to repot them if they have some roots already. Okay, this is the green one, I think. So I actually don't remember any of their names, but there is the purple and the red one and this is probably the green one because this looks like it's green so the pumice that i have here i will be reusing i'm not gonna be able to buy any pumice right now actually um i have to be very honest with you i'm not able to move around because there are restrictions in our area so um you might not see me going around in shops buying succulents and also we have problems with our local delivery men so i'm not gonna be receiving any plants soon i'm not gonna be buying plants soon because we have issues with shipping here in my location so that's really nice so now i'm just gonna focus on what i have here because i won't be able to buy any more plants soon but maybe we will visit some neighbors of mine that has succulents as well so there there's the roots this is our green um, champagne a tray is very useful for these type of projects I would really recommend if you're starting out with succulents that you buy trays as well. Punch a hole in this one. So we're gonna be sinking this one in. There you go. Some other people would recommend that you just remove all the roots. Yeah, because they're dried out and they're dead. But um, I'm gonna be showing you 
an update on my other repotted succulents. So this is one, this is the succulent that I repotted recently. And you can see here, the upper leaves are already getting firm. So it's already firm. The bottom leaves are still flappy, so we have that. But the upper leaves are already firm. But when I planted this, the upper leaves were not firm. The upper leaves were actually thirsty. So I repotted it. The roots, when I repotted it, it was kind of dry. But after I watered it, the plant began drinking water again. So even if those roots seem like they're dry, they can still absorb water. The roots um, doesn't have to be very pink or very white to be considered alive. So some roots of those can probably still absorb water. So I'm not removing all the roots. As long as there are no mealybugs in it, as long as it's clear of any problems, I'm not going to be removing all the roots. Okay, there. We have that. Last champagne here. Okay, it's really stuck into the potting mix. You can see here, the leaves are so flappy. I think they were getting very heat stressed. Um, their potting mix doesn't keep them cool very long for very long. So, um, as I said before in my old video, um, a potting mix should help your plant stay cool even if it becomes too hot. And even if you don't water a lot, your potting mix should help your succulents survive the heat. So this potting mix that I'm using here, the cocoa peat, it doesn't help with the heat. I think it just makes the plants more stressed. So now I'm really avoiding using the cocoa peat mixture. And sadly, one of the pups, the pup it has, um, has stem rot. So I don't know if I can still uh, keep this alive. At least the mother plant is still alive. And I'm hoping to keep these ones alive. These are very difficult succulents. If you're a beginner, I would not recommend you go with the champagne varieties first because they're very difficult. Lawis and um, Agavoidis succulents, they're not very easy to grow, but they're very beautiful. I also probably would like to show you an update on my other pink champagne, the one that is more established. It's producing more growth right now and it's getting big. Okay, we have that. So see that? That one is already growing larger, okay? It used to be smaller, but now the leaves are getting thick, getting big, and I'm not watering it very often. And there seems to be some sort of a sunburn inside. So yeah, we're gonna be waiting for that to be replaced, but look at that. Isn't that so nice? Okay, inside of the rosette, there are leaves that are kind of like they're burnt, so yeah. I will wait for the leaves to come out and then to be replaced. So it doesn't matter if your succulent get damages on leaves. A lot of people get worried because their leaves get these whitish markings or these black markings or some other types of markings. But it doesn't matter as long as your plant is actively growing, as long as you know that it's rooted because it will easily replace those old leaves. So it doesn't have to be very perfect. Okay, you're not growing in a very perfect condition, so you won't expect your succulents to have this very perfect um, appearance. If you want them to look perfect, you might want to grow them under grow lights so that um, the leaves will become flawless. But if you're actually growing them just ordinarily and if you don't have the perfect space for them, um, you won't expect to see this perfect looking uh, succulents. So you might want to be very patient with them. Don't rush them. And if if they become very ugly, um, you just have to be patient with them. Because in a few seasons, in a in a year or probably um, in half a year, the succulent will already have changed its appearance. So you have to be patient with them. Succulent growing is a long-term process. You cannot rush it. This is another succulent that is not performing well. This is my Echeveria, um, it's a Reunionier hybrid, Swan Lake, okay yes, the Swan Lake and it's not performing very well, the leaves don't look good and there are ants, there are ants in there, so there could be mealybugs. So what happens also, if my plant is very confusing, if it looks like it's thir thirsty but it's rotting, I will be neglecting it more, so because I neglect it more, it becomes a magnet for mealybugs. So that could get really problematic very quickly. So now, replanting them will hopefully mend the problems. So there are mealybugs right there. Okay. So it's really, really difficult if you don't establish your succulents well because they will have all sorts of problems if you don't resolve the problem very quickly mealybugs can help your can help with getting rot and can also 
distort the leaves so if you're getting abnormal looking leaves on your succulents it may have mealybugs inside the rosette so you really have to amend the problem right away um, if you're seeing a lot of mealybugs you can use Starkle G you can clean up your succulent like this so what I did with the, its old potting mix because there are mealybugs in it I will be washing that off actually I wash all my uh, pummies before I reuse them so that it doesn't transfer the mealybugs to the next succulent that will be planted in it so as long as my succulents are not getting rot I can still reuse their potting mix their pummies okay so there I'm hoping that this one will recover soon and I can make an update on them soon okay now we're gonna be going with this sedum okay this one this other stem is not doing uh, well okay so we have that so I'm gonna be taking out the uh, leaves the bottom leaves on this one so that we can reroot it probably it will produce more roots if it has some more stem so I also would like to share with you an idea that I have some of my succulents if they have this um, callus or rotten stems at the bottom they will not be producing roots on that so it might be difficult for your succulents to reroot if their stems um, are not very well if their stems are callus or if their stems are hard hardened off so they will not be producing roots on that because the stem is already very old so they will might probably produce stems on this uh, they might produce roots on these fresher stems so which is why what i would like to do now is to remove the bottom part of the stem okay it will encourage the plant to uh, direct its energy into its newer stem where it can produce uh, new roots so now because we've cut it off we're gonna be letting this one dry out okay so there's our other burrito stem but uh, the others i have here are doing particularly well so these other stems have rooted very well and you can see this one uh, has produced a lot of babies already so we have that okay so we're gonna be replanting it in this one but I'm careful I don't want to be I don't want to disturb their the roots this is already dry so I would also recommend you don't uh, repot your succulents if they are wet wait for them to dry out first okay carefully we don't want to damage their leaves so I'm going to be sticking the, the stick inside and then I'm going to be pushing from the bottom. Okay, there we go. You can take up the root ball like that. Okay. 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 Wow. Okay. So there's the chunk of the root ball that we have. I'm going to be laying it. And another stem just fell out. We're going to be laying it here because we want it to trail okay let me just take this other sedum there's a sedum here it doesn't belong it's a different type of sedum okay so now we will be redirecting these other stems so that they can trail down and we're gonna be sticking this one back in there okay so now we're gonna be back filling this up so that they can get anchored in there So now I'm gonna just remove some of the top pummies because there are pups here that are getting drowned out by the pummies and by the soil mix. Um, this one, I think I can lay it on top and let it dry right there. Okay, so like that. Okay, so there's that. And I'm gonna be hanging this one later on but for now, I think we're gonna I think I'd like to hang it here so that you can see it okay isn't that so nice okay so I have my other sedum right here and this one belongs in with this plant so yeah and I'm I think I want to repot them right now so I have this small pot and yeah I'm gonna be using this okay so you can see this one has some roots on it there we go okay so I'm gonna be plopping this one we have there so we have that hanging plant and then we have this one on the top okay so uh, what i like to do right now is take this one off and then i'm going to be planting it at the top so i don't want it to stay hanging down since it already has some air roots okay so let me just plop it at the top right here this is very difficult in small succulents 
Okay, so there we go. My sedum. I don't know the idea of this sedum, but I really like it, and it's been growing a lot recently, so I wanted to give it some more attention. It's one of those plants that I neglected for very long, and they're just recovering right now. Okay, I think I would like to propagate some succulents around here. Okay, so now we're done. It took a while and now it's raining. So yeah, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna be um, looking at all the plants that we've repotted here. Okay, so now it really started raining. Okay. And these are the succulents that we planted. So we've got this champagne one. The light is not really great, so sorry guys. Okay, we have this champagne, we have our swan lake right here, okay, we have this sedum that I recently planted, tito bans, the mendoza with the stems that are not yet callous, okay, so I added cinnamon there and I just laid it on top like that, okay, we have our other champagne here, this other one, this is one that I showed you but I didn't repot it so it's just repotted I think about a few months ago so it was newly repotted but now it's actively growing again okay so we have that we have this um, tray of our oh, tray bowl of propagation so what happened was the potting mix was separating the pumice and the organic material was separating so I remixed it and then I planted my propagations back in and they're looking nice okay so I hope that every one of these grows because there were some other propagations here that have dried out or that have rotten out so I removed those I cleaned it up and now it's looking better we also have this burrito which I recently planted and since I planted it in that pot in that tall pot this stem produced these lots of babies so now i'm hoping that every one of those will succeed because sometimes a pop even if it grows on the stem it won't succeed sometimes it will die so yeah we have that and now what i'm gonna do with this is i'm gonna be hanging it in one of my hanging shelves right here okay so i moved them aside you can see I moved them at the side there and now i'm just gonna hang our newly planted one so I hope that I can hang this properly. One hand, okay. There. Isn't that so nice? So I have this rope here. Isn't that so nice? Yes. Let me switch the camera. Look at that, so beautiful. And we also have our variation here. You can see that the old leaves are bright green. The new leaves have more farina, so they are more pale green. And we have some even whitish green. Uh, new growth at the center so it was growing that way because of the way that it was planted back then but I'm hoping that it will hang down soon this is my other burrito right here you can see it okay it's got a lot of leaves but I believe that the leaves at the middle like that it's desiccating so there might be a problem with the potting mix I might have to repot this later also I think that it was desiccating its leaves at the middle because it wasn't getting light there it's getting light this way and then it's getting light back there but it's getting more light from there so i think that the center ones because they're getting shaded by the pot they're removing those leaves so now what i want to do is i'm going to be cutting this one off and i'm going to be repotting it we have that so nice so i think that's about it for our video guys i really hope that you like what we did here what we repotted if you did please make sure to hit the like below and also if you haven't subscribed already please make sure to hit subscribe for more videos about succulents soon. And I think that's about it for our video guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.